Good morning. It is just before 6.30 in the morning, and we are so excited for what we're doing today. Cannot wait. Let's go. We arrived at Kanta Elephant Sanctuary, one of the numerous sanctuaries in northern Thailand dedicated to the rescue and care of Asian elephants. These elephants had previously been put to work for the purposes of tourism, logging, and entertainment, which more often than not led to their abuse and mistreatment. After a brief talk from our guide about the sanctuary's mission, the elephants themselves, and how best to interact with them, it was time to meet these absolutely magnificent animals. In order to get us acquainted, we were given a supply of sugarcane pieces, which we were allowed to feed them as a snack from behind a barrier. This allowed us to familiarize ourselves with one another at a safe and comfortable distance. Once we had some time to get to know each other, it was time to go behind the barrier and get a bit more up close and personal. We are able to pet them, feed them, and take some all important photos before being ushered back behind the barrier to feed them some very long bamboo shoots. It's worth noting that all of this was done under the watchful eyes of the sanctuary staff who were fantastic in their role of ensuring the best possible experience for both the humans and elephants alike. It's now time to make some elephant food. So what we have in here is just four ingredients. So we have bananas, tamarind, vegan protein, and salt. And basically we just mix all of these together into a ball to then feed to the elephants. The reason behind making these supplement balls is to provide the elephants with a lot of key nutrients while also combining the sweet, sour, and savory flavor profiles that they love. And there you have elephant supplement balls. We were then invited to feed them said balls, which of course meant more petting opportunities.
Bath time was up next, for which the guides brought the elephants to a small lake. We eagerly followed them in with buckets and brushes to help clean the elephants, although they didn't look all that dirty to begin with, which allowed for even more quality time. Once everything was said and done, we were allowed to shower, change back into our clothes, enjoy some delicious watermelon, shop for souvenirs, the profits from which of course went back into the sanctuary, before then being taken back to our accommodation. Well, we just got back from the best experience of our lives and it feels like it was way too short. I wish that could have gone on forever. Yep, that was truly magical being in the presence of such beautiful, huge but gentle creatures and being able to interact with them in the way that we did is genuinely a collector's item. So the very fact that we even got to do that for the best part of a morning was incredibly special. It just blows my mind how these absolutely massive creatures are so gentle and you can safely interact with them up close like they love when you pet their trunk their head their cheeks their ears their body they're so happy to take food from you you get to interact with them and cuddle with them and pet them absolutely and after a while you kind of felt like you were bonding with some of them especially if you time around one elephant in particular so yeah it was um Spectacular. It flew by so quickly and somehow it feels surreal. Mm -hmm. Like, did we even do that? Was I in the moment enough for it? Did I appreciate it, enjoy it enough? That's why I just feel like I want that to go on longer. Absolutely. Some practical information about the experience was that it was 3,000 baht for both of us to do. So that's 120 Canadian dollars total. Yep. We went through counter elephant sanctuary and we booked directly with them rather than going through any kind of third party and it was amazing because basically they take care of pretty much everything like we saw that there were a couple of things to expect on their website but actually they ended up laying on even more than we thought that they would they picked us up directly from our accommodation they gave us a time slot where we would be picked up and they confirmed that with us by email twice in advance. And they turned up exactly when they said they would. They also took the time then to pick up a number of other people in the same little minibus before then taking us onto the sanctuary. When you then get there, then while they do say it's a good idea to bring a bathing suit, they do provide you with clothing, which they do say is more than suitable to get wet or dirty or anything like that. They provide that for you and they provide you with time to then get changed into everything before you then even go out and interact with the elephants. 
after you're done interacting with the elephants, they have showers. Mind you, there's no hot water, but half the hotels here also don't have hot water. Mm -hmm. So you can take a shower. They provide shower gel. They even provide towels. So as Nick mentioned, despite the fact that on their website, they mention that you should bring a bathing suit, a towel, a change of clothes, you don't even need a towel or a bathing suit or a separate change of clothes. You can just go with the clothes that you have on in the morning. Yeah. Then once you are done with the activity for the half day, which is what we ended up doing, then they take you straight back as well, door to door service by way of food and drink. They do provide you with water, coffee, tea, biscuits and then once you're done with the activities for the day with some fruit as well that is it though the only way that you're going to get lunch included with this experience is if you do a full day which then also gives you additional sections with the elephants that take you through to the afternoon however since we went for the morning half day then lunch was not included which did make it cheaper but if you are going to be doing the same experience that we do and you may be suffer from getting a little bit hangry, then it is 100% worth making sure that either you've eaten before you've even gone on the excursion or that you bring your own food with you. Speaking of food, mm -hmm. we're starving. Yep. So we're gonna go find some lunch. Thank you. 